Nearly one month ago, a gentleman reached out to us whose name is Ayel, going to respect his privacy, but Ayel has been a trader. He is a business person, very mature business person, successful business person, with, as he tells us, a finance background. About four to five weeks ago, he reached out to us and said, Don, I've been following you at Stock Market Caddy for a few months now. I'm curious about this Q school, this three to four weeks that I could spend with you. I'm curious about this profit factor. I'm wondering whether or not you can really help me and can your tools help me? Because you see, Don, I've gone back over the last couple of years and I've recalculated my performance through the eyes of profit factor, which is a key metric to how we keep score. And he said, Don, it's not pretty. IL's question is the question every single person has had and will have before going into Q school. And that question is, will these tools help? Will I do better? Now, we think so, but I can't promise anyone an outcome. What I can promise, and by the way, I'm bagged on at Stock Market Caddy. What I can promise is that for three to four weeks, we're going to give you our undivided attention. We're going to explain to you how we approach and trade the markets day in and day out. In a live environment, ideally, I'm going to spend one to no more than two hours each day with you. You see, we need to free you up so that you have the opportunity to trade for yourself. Because as we explained to IL, at the end of each week, at the end of the three weeks, you are going to answer that question yourself because we are not going to give you any trades. No, we're going to give you the education. We're going to give you the perspective. And as IL had trade station, we're going to be able to give you some of our programs, but not all, but some. Let me share with you IL scorecard on the first week. His gross profit on approximately 10 trades, trading one mini contract, gross profit $2,130.50, a gross loss of 309, a net profit of $1,821.50 for a profit factor of 6.89. What is profit factor? gross profit divided by gross loss, which means IL made $6.89 for every dollar he expended. If you have a profit factor below one, you are losing. If you have a profit factor from one to two, you're grinding. You're putting shingles on a roof. You're profitable, but barely. Two to three, in our view, average. Over three, you become a money-making machine. Will it vary from day to day, week to week? Yes, because the market changes. But IL had an approach, but he did say at the end of this first week, you know, Don, I wonder if I was just lucky. Said, I don't think so, I yell. But let's keep moving forward. Week number two. Gross profit, $2,175.50. Gross loss, eight sixty one. dollars Net profit, $1,314.50. Profit factor, 2.53. Very respectable. The market came in. It was a little bit tighter. 
last week six thousand five hundred and seventy dollars gross loss eight thirty one net profit five thousand seven hundred and thirty nine dollars on just thirteen trades profit factor seven point nine one perfect example he traded very well the first week a profit factor very close to this but the market was only giving out what the market was giving out this week the market was generous and IEL was prepared disciplined patient knew what he was doing and extracted a multiple of that over the last three weeks IEL has netted $8,875 on approximately 30 to 35 trades, one mini contract, a profit factor in the aggregate of 5.43. He was making $5.43 for every dollar he expended. I wish you could have heard the observations from IL over the last three weeks. And IL, thank you. You know, every time we do this, we learn from every person. IL said to me on one day, he said, you know, Don, I waited two hours for the robot to present the trade to me. In the past, I may have been impatient and acted and had I acted I would not have had the outcome that I had you know Don for the most of the three weeks I was trading mechanically that is I was letting the robot do the work and present the trades but I was trading mechanically around that I'm learning and I think I can really get myself to a place where the robot is doing even more of the trading. This is a business, Don. And I need to make a business decision. And fortunately for us and for IL, IL has made that decision and we welcome him to the Stock Market Caddy Club. He will be with us next year and we're busy sending him dozens and dozens of additional tools. The question is, do you have a scorecard from last week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, three months ago, three years ago? Are you keeping score purely on the money? If you are, you are falling into the trap laid by Wall Street and Madison Avenue. If you are tracking only the money even a percentage return. You are trading greed in fear and they will get you. When you track what IL has been tracking, profit factor, each individual trade, trading mechanically with a robot, IL is now outside the realm of the retail trader. He is not trading greed and fear. He is trading mechanically without emotion. He is extracting cash flow, the very essence of running any business. You see, trading should be fun, but it is a business. You want to and need to extract cash flow. That's what we do. That's what we teach. And if you want to learn more, we invite you to visit stockmarketcaddy.com. We invite you to send us your emails and you're welcome to call me any day, including a weekend from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. at 813-758-8263. Good luck, everyone. And I L, thank you.